morning. I'm back up at the iconic Kirchhoffel. Actually got some um, really, really nice light this morning. I couldn't believe it. It was so overcast this morning. I woke up about three o'clock, had a look out. There's a tiny band of colour coming through the very bottom, but it was so overcast, but it has actually lit up uh, really luckily this um, lovely red colour. So really cool. I've been taking some pano shots again. Um, I've come slightly down in the composition I had uh, yesterday. I've just switched to a landscape orientated pano now. I've been doing a lot of portrait shots because so I don't want to get a lot of that sky in. But the pano, um, the landscape shot is going to come out quite nicely as well, I think. So I'm just going to do that stitch now. I'm shooting just simply with, help if I can fill it the right way around. I'm shooting simply with a soft grad filter, 0.9 soft grad, no other filters. It's quite early, so I can get a, about a one and a half to two second shutter speed with that, which is just enough to um, kind of blur out the water and kind of keep some of the detail in it, but add a bit of smoothness at the same time. Um, get this really awesome scene. These are going to come out really, really nicely. I'm glad I made the, um, the call to shoot this uh, mountain kind of the first day or so here because it is forecast rain for the next few days. And um, yeah, you can't really guarantee it. But yeah, I'm really liking it. It's really, really nice scene. The sky is just getting better and better every minute. It's about sunrise now, so I think it's going to start dying off. Um, in a bit. I'm shooting with a 0.9 soft grad on, like I say, I'm on the 16 to 35 mil lens. I'm at 16 mil, as wide as I can get it. And I'm shooting at an f-stop of f10. And that's given me, like I say, a shutter speed of around about, uh, looking into the sun now, yeah, 1.6 seconds. Um, and that, that's an ISO of 50 to try and get as long shutter speed as I can. Yeah, this is going to be a really, really nice image. Um, like I said, like I said on the vlog yesterday, it's a bit of a kind of overly shot scene, a bit of an iconic location. Um, but yeah, when you get light like this, you can see why people shoot it. Um, some really nice golden light here on the mountain now, you can just see in the background. Um, but I mean, when you've got something like this in front of you, you're not really going to bother turning around. So. Yeah, I'm just basically shooting right around here as far as I can get around. Um, I've got this rope here, which I'll probably have to take out in post. Um, but yeah, including the mountain, these waterfalls, getting all three of them in. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really, really nice scene, I think. I'm going to probably go back to a portrait style pano now, do some more of those, get a, a sweep in. And then what I'll probably do is, while we've got a bit of golden colour in the sky still, I might just go down... Um, down to a little uh, kind of car park there and just shoot up to it at a different angle. So I'll get these shots up um, and I'll meet you down there in a minute at that location. to photograph the black church at Badur. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. 
uh, now. I waited around at Coach Fell a bit longer. I wanted to get some different shots, but the weather came in really bad and it's just been raining up there. Um, I got a bit of sleep as well in the van and uh, in the car, sorry, and a few hours later it's still raining and I think it's kind of pretty much set for the whole day there. Um, I've only come half an hour away from it at the Black Church and the weather's actually stopped raining and there's a bit of kind of lightness in the sky so um, I think in Iceland if the weather's bad in an area just literally go for a drive I think it's so variable. I'm going to get some shots of the church now um, show you my composition when I'm out there and uh, I'll catch up with you when I'm all set up. Right I'm up at the church here it is cool building um, the weather's kind of raining a bit it's making it very difficult because um, <coughs> I wanted to do some long exposures or get some grad filters on there to bring that sky down there is a load of mood in the sky um, because it's raining I just can't use them because it's just getting rain all over the filters the only way I can get away with it is by having the lens hood on the 16 to 35 which is actually off the 24 to 70 that lens hood so it's a bit deeper so it's just keeping the rain off the lens um, I was gonna do a bit of vlogging earlier but a coach full of people turned up and then there's about four other cars turned up so all within a space of about two minutes when I got here about 10 minutes ago 20 minutes ago it was just us two so they just kind of flooded in um, yeah, not too much I can do of it really. I can't do long exposures like I was saying. I've taken a few different compositions of it. Um, I'm probably going to do two things with it. I'm, some of the shots I'm going to bring some mood down in the sky. I'm going to be doing some um, grad filters in post to make it as moody as I can. Because there is quite a bit of detail in the, in the clouds, a bit of mood there. They're quite kind of rainy and full. And what I'll also do with some of them is I'll probably try and blow out the skies. Because it's a black church, it's going to have loads of nice contrast if I blow out the sky. So I'll be doing a mixture of kind of a few different shots to see which one turns out the best. Having a bad air day. This is kind of the other composition I was going with earlier, um, just down here. Just shooting kind of up straight on on the church, just so you've got those nice white windows with the uh, black church. These nice kind of mountains and kind of vista in the background. Yeah, really nice. It's only going to be a short stop um, just to get it in the bag. It's on the route down to um, Rhetoric as well. I might have a look at a old crater there, which I can't remember the name of, um, which I'll probably just drive by and take some pictures of, um, see what the weather does. Um, I'll stick those up if I get down there as well. If not, I'll probably see you a bit later on, um, catch up with you kind of at a location I kind of do for sunset. Um, we're going to go get some lunch now. I'm going to go straight off to have a look at the crate and then off to Ikea, get some food and um, I'll uh, see you a bit later. Geyser now, I'm at the um, kind of famous stroker geyser which goes off every eight to ten minutes. I'm not going to bother vlogging it because for 99.9% .9 of the time there's not going to be anything to uh, photograph. Um, I think all you can really do with it is shoot it when it's gone off. Um, I'm going to try and get some slow motion as well in the camera. I'm going to put the super slow mo on the S9 to test. Uh, it works by kind of detecting the motion and then kind of setting record there. So I wonder if it will go off quick enough to capture the um, the, the guys are going off. I assume they go off pretty rapidly. Um, yeah, so I've parked up in the parking bit. I'll go there in a minute. I'll stick some of the pictures and the footage up. First things first, I've got um, one of the most important things, shall I say. Get the box. Got the donut to eat. 
and then uh, I'll uh, catch you up a bit after. After I've got these up, I'm probably going to try and get to Hellfoss um, if I can. I think there's a gravel road to it, and I've looked online, and some of the reports say you can get along it on a normal car. Some of them say you can't. So if there's going to be a bit of a hike involved, I probably won't bother because uh, the weather's pretty bad. Um, just driving here in the last half an hour, we've had um, kind of sun hail, rain, sleet, snow, all within about half an hour, so the weather is absolutely crazy, so um, hopefully it will stay off um, while I'm over there, but I wouldn't hold my breath. I'll uh, catch up with you at the next location so I can get up a bit later for um, sunset, and uh, I'll see you then. <music> cold and it's windy and there's no good light it's really overcast it's all about the handshake i've not brought the gimbal with me to save weight i'd have a massive rush to get up here the the road for some reason was shut even though when i walked it, it looked fine um, i don't think i would have got the high car i've got up there anyway <laughs> so Sorry about the wind as well, there's not much I can do about it. Um, like I said, I don't think I would have got the higher car up the road, so I had to go for a, a five and a half kilometre hike. Um, it's been hailing on me, blowing on me, raining on me, it's been a nightmare getting here. But I'm at this epic location, really cool these waterfalls. There's two of them, I'm just concentrating on one of them really, because it's so cold, it's getting dark, and I want to get back to the car before I kind of freeze to death really. So I've just been going for, the, for this really nice sweeping shot here. To be honest, it's quite scary, really. Um, it's such a drop here, it's 160 meters. Um, I feel a bit uncomfortable shooting it, especially with the wind. So I've kind of got the shot I want now. I've been doing panoramic stitches, um, mainly portrait style, because um, it's quite a, a kind of high scene. And I'll stitch them together, hopefully they'll come out. These are the waterfalls. Mainly shooting this one here. and shooting down the river here, including the stitch. There is another cool one here, um, but like I say, I'm just too cold now. It's getting too um, too dark, really. The pictures are coming out quite nice, actually, even though there's lack of decent light. They're come, giving them quite a nice blue kind of cast, them, quite a nice sheen to them, a bit of mood and stuff like that. So I think they're gonna come out quite nicely anyway, but I'm gonna call it quits now. Um, yeah, really happy the images I got this morning. Amazing sun sunrise. Um, this is an awesome location. It's just the weather didn't really play ball 100% today, but it's going to give me a really moody, nice shot anyway. So I'm pretty happy still. But I'm literally going to freeze to death unless I get back to the car. So I'll catch up you um, tomorrow. I've not got a plan where I'm going yet. It'll probably be another waterfall or something like that and a few other locations. Um, but I'll stick these images up. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. And I'll see you on the next one.